Hey guys, this is Linda. So Gabby and I today got invited to this three-day yoga festival in Scottsdale and let me tell you it's like the craziest thing I've been to. I'm like so out of place here because every single person, I kid you not, looks like an Instagram model, superstar, like perfect body, like perfect hair and everything. It's crazy. I've never seen so many like perfectly beautiful people in yoga outfits in my life. So because of that, I mean like I don't have blonde hair, I don't have like, you know, like perfect Instagram model body and stuff like that. So I feel like really out of place to be honest and it's like bringing up like insecurities inside of me. So I'm going to be sharing two tips on how to overcome your insecurities and try new things, meet new people and get yourself out there. One. Remember that every single person has insecurities even the ones that look confident even the people who look like they have everything in their life together Every single human being because we have emotions because we have thoughts we carry insecurities So in that sense you're on equal playing fields with everyone. No one is more vulnerable than the other person We all carry that same level of insecurity. So we're all equal in that sense You are no less than they are no more than you are two the line that separates confident people and not confident people is the choice to follow the voice of your insecurity or the choice not to follow the voice of insecurity. Like I said, because everyone is insecure, everyone carries their own insecurities inside, the people that seem confident are the ones that don't let those voices of insecurities control their behavior, control their thoughts. They step over them and still do what they want, not listening to those voices. Whereas the people who are not confident, they're the ones who let the voices of their insecurity control them. You know those little things that say like, you're not good enough, you'll never make it, people will judge you, you're too fat, you're too ugly, you're not, you're not pretty enough. Those little voices that we all carry inside, the people that are not confident are the ones that say, you know what, you're right. So I'm just gonna sit in here and not talk to anybody because I'm not that pretty, I'm not good, and tell themselves all these horrible things that make them shrink. And you know when you keep telling your brain that kind of bad information, your brain literally shrinks. So people who are depressed and anxious, their brains are operating at a less capacity than someone who is confident. So the only difference between the confident and the non-confident is what voice they choose. So step two to get out of your insecurity and to get yourself out there is to not choose the voice of your insecurities. To choose the voice that steps over those insecurities and just do it because everyone is insecure, everyone has their judgments, everyone is exactly at the same place that you are. It's just some people express it and some people don't. Some people are good at hiding it, some people are not good at hiding it. That's the only difference between confidence and no confidence. So with that said, there is an awesome acro yoga class where you hang from the ceiling and stretch. So I'm going to take part in that. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye!